you ever seen a coincidence that seemed almost too good to be true? After thinking about a problem for days, one day, while sipping coffee on the cold winter's morning, you use a short story to illustrate a point that strikes you as particularly fitting. How is that even possible? Today, we delve into the profound idea of synchronicities, those instances in which it feels as though the cosmos is reaching out to you specifically. Watching this film may be a synchronicity in and of itself, indicating that you are learning more about your life's path. Despite its seemingly straightforward definition, the word synchronicity has a complex, almost magical connotation. Carl Jung, a Swiss psychiatrist whose ideas extended beyond psychology into philosophy and mysticism, is credited with creating it. Jung was a profoundly deep thinker who saw the world as an orchestrated concert of destiny rather than a collection of chance occurrences, where each has a profound significance. He held the view that events have a purposeful trajectory that transcends the idea of chance. Imagine yourself lost in thought as you stroll down a crowded city street, thinking about an old acquaintance you haven't seen in a long time. I see this particular friend across the street all of a sudden, as if by miracle. While Jung would argue that this is more than just a coincidence, it's synchronicity. The secret web of significance that ties our seemingly unconnected experiences together is a hint given by the cosmos, although Jung was not the first one to hold this opinion. Throughout the world, synchronicity is a concept that appears in numerous civilizations and ideologies. Consider historical societies such as the Mayans, Greeks or Egyptians. They all perceived something more than random occurrences in the patterns of nature, the cycles of life and the alignment of celestial bodies. They observe trends and indicators, signals, or fate. Still, how does synchronicity function? Is it true that we are receiving signs from the universe? If true, how can we identify and understand them? It's an intriguing and difficult topic all at once. It could be argued by some that it is selective perception, an attempt by humans to identify patterns in chaos. However, for proponents of synchronicity theory, these occurrences are portals to a more profound reality, a puzzle that needs to be solved. The idea of synchronicity is not outdated. In the contemporary world, when science and technology rule, the concept of synchronicity may appear archaic. However, it lives on in the tales we tell, the coincidences we encounter, and the unexpected moments in life. It pushes us to look past our noses and at the unnoticed relationships in our lives. Consider synchronicity as the universe's soft yet resolute hand, guiding us towards our actual destiny. These tiny, profound moments are what amaze us and give us the impression that there is a bigger, secret scheme at work. When was the last time you were strolling down the street, daydreaming about a former acquaintance, and then all of a sudden your phone rang and that exact name showed on the screen? At a time when you were considering a significant life decision, or perhaps unintentionally, you happened upon a book that appeared to provide answers to your most profound queries. Though these seem like coincidences at first, they are actually synchronicities, meaningful connections that are just waiting for us to recognize them. It might not be a coincidence, for instance, if we are considering making a big decision in our lives and all of a sudden we notice signs everywhere that appear to be connected to this decision. It might serve as a sign that we are headed in the right direction or as a warning to stop and think things through. So how can one cultivate this kind of interest? Being open to receiving messages from the cosmos is the first step in the process. Journaling, introspection and meditation are useful practices for honing our awareness of CS signs. It's about living in the present and seeing the little things that we frequently miss, but that can reveal hints about our larger purpose. It also teaches us to have faith in life's natural flow. It inspires us to travel the course that the universe has planned for us while experiencing a sense of purpose and belonging. The universe seems to be quietly talking to us, telling us to trust the process. Your course is correct. Finding synchronicity in day-to-day -day life is like going on a treasure hunt, whereby we acquire the skills necessary to unearth and analyze chance's hidden jewels. Being open to the unexpected and engaging in mindfulness practices are crucial. However, how precisely can we master and refine this skill? 
The first step in the practice is cultivating a mindful mindset, being completely present in each moment, judging nothing, and keeping an open mind to what is going on around you are the hallmarks of mindfulness. It is an invitation to intentionally experience and observe every moment of mindfulness rather than simply navigate life. We start to see the little threads connecting our experiences. Maintaining a synchronicity notebook is another useful strategy. Note down any small coincidences or unexpected events that you come across. The intention is to raise awareness of these occurrences regardless of how small they may appear. This diary has the potential to be an invaluable resource for seeing trends and messages that might otherwise go missing. An additional crucial component of this practice is reflection. Regularly pause to consider the events documented in your journal. Exist any recurrent symbols or themes? If you can relate to your ideas, emotions or life circumstances, this introspection can provide a deep understanding of your decisions and personal path. Young's idea is clearly illustrated by this instance of synchronicity, the finding of a book that so perfectly suited his suppressed artistic aspirations. According to Jung, these seemingly random events are actually significant internal convergences that point to a higher level of connectedness and order in the cosmos. This book wasn't just an accidental find for Sarah. It was a universe-given sign, a plea to pursue one's actual calling as an artist once more. John's tale is also quite instructive. He's often heard references to a far-off place in books, conversations, or random meetings. These recurrent meetings weren't just coincidences. Rather, they were synchronicities that eventually gave him the idea to travel to this nation. There, he met the love of his life and embarked on a new adventure. Such a sequence of apparently unrelated but important events is, in Jung's opinion, an indicator that our unconscious is somehow linked to the outside world. These coincidences served as turning points in John's life that prompted a drastic adjustment. Carl Jung investigated the notion that the unconscious is a communal as well as a personal phenomenon. According to him, synchronicities are expressions of a collective consciousness that interacts eerily with events occurring in the real world. The accounts of Sarah and John demonstrate how the inner states of individuals and external circumstances can coincide in ways that go beyond simple happenstance. These incidents are manifestations of a deeper reality, where our innermost sensations and thoughts are in balance with the external environment. These CA studies show us how to apply Young's ideas to our own lives. They educate us to notice the subtle yet important cues that we encounter every day. It could be recurrent dreams, strange meetings, or accidental discoveries. We can better comprehend our own goals and aspirations and make decisions that will advance us on our genuine life path by identifying and understanding these indications. The intriguing fields of psychology, philosophy, and spirituality are opened up by the questions of whether thoughts can materialize reality and how to employ synchronicities to achieve personal goals. One way to think of synchronicities is as a compass that points the way towards our objectives. They act as indicators to let us know if we are headed in the right direction. Our objectives and aims must be crystal clear to us in order for us to make use of these signs. Knowing our goals allows us to pay closer attention to the cues the universe gives us. Several philosophical and spiritual systems center around the notion that ideas have the power to materialize reality. Modern conceptions also reflect this viewpoint.